Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Priyanka Chaudhary. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by all the English grammar rules? What if I told you that you can speak English fluently without memorizing a single grammar rule? Yes, you heard that right. Today in this video, I am going to reveal how you can speak English fluently, smoothly and naturally without stressing over grammar. For that, you need to stay with me till the end of this video and do not skip any part to make the most out of this video. So without any further ado, let's explore what are these techniques. Before I proceed further, I would like you to recall your childhood days. How did you learn your native language? What did you do to learn to speak your native language? Did you try to learn the grammar rules? Did your parents or your teachers or anybody force you to learn grammar rules first and then start speaking? Obviously not. We generally, I mean, we just naturally started speaking our native language without putting in a lot of efforts. What we did actually, we observed people around us speaking our native language, right? Besides this, we also started copying them. We started mimicking them, imitating them, speaking the same thing. And by doing this, gradually, we started speaking our native language without learning any grammar rules. If we can do this, we can even learn our target language as well without stressing over grammar. What I mean to say is that the first technique is all about immersion. You are supposed to immerse yourself learning this language. You can only learn this language without learning grammar when you are going to expose yourself to English. Now you might be thinking that people around me are not talking in English. There is no one who speaks to me in English, right? Then how can I learn? How can I speak English without learning grammar? For that, I have to learn and understand grammar rules first and then I can think of speaking English. No, do not take so much stress learning grammar. And this is the problem that when we try to approach learning any language specifically spoken uh, English or spoken language and uh, for this purpose we are thinking too much about grammar it actually confuses us it creates a lot of misunderstanding right and it slows down our process of speaking that language so that's why I am insisting not to focus too much do not try to master the uh, English grammar right you are uh, more concerned about speaking this language right so if you are concerned if you are focused or uh, only for speaking this language for that you do not need to pay attention learning grammar too much grammar is significant for the purpose of appearing in any exam if you are supposed to appear in any english exam there grammar plays a crucial role but for speaking Trust me, grammar is not that much important. I have seen many people speaking uh, English language without knowing a single rule of grammar. And But they speak correctly, they speak confidently. Then if they can do, why cannot you do? So just try to focus on the things that I am going to share with you in this video. And trust me, it is going to work. So basically, the first technique is all about immersion. Surround yourself with English language, as I said before. And how are you going to surround yourself with this? Start watching movies or your favorite TV shows, web series, your episodes or anything that you prefer watching, your cartoons or anything in English only. I can understand that if you are going to watch all these things in English, you might find these things quite difficult to understand. You might be feeling like stop watching because these things are not making sense to you, right? This is going to be a little challenging initially. But trust me, when you are going to do it for a week or for at least two weeks, it is it will become a part of your habit and you will start enjoying it as well. Make sure while you are watching any content on your phone, on anywhere, on TV or anywhere, make sure that content must be a part of your interest means watch uh, the movie that you are interested in watching that genre of the movie all right or do not just start watching news english news and if you are not at all interested watching news channels 
all right so do not uh, start watching these certain things that you are not interested watching so watch the things in english where you find interest and at the same time i want you to listen listen to uh, the podcast in english all right and listen to some audios in english when you will focus on watching and listening then what is going to happen it is going to help you to understand the sentences you are going to focus on the words the sentences the expressions the phrases that are used while speaking english besides this you will also be focusing on the pronunciation the rhythm and the sound the sound that is actually takes place while speaking this language so by listening and by watching you are going to learn a lot and this is how by watching and by listening we learned our native language as well so the, by following the same things you are going to learn english language as well without thinking and without uh, indulging yourself too much learning grammar rules so just uh, start immersing yourself the next technique that you need to try you, and this is going to be speak english speak in english every day now you would be thinking we do not know how to speak this is a completely different language a foreign language we have never spoken before and i am asking you to speak this language on the regular basis without learning grammar how is it possible it is possible trust me see what you are afraid of making mistakes you are nervous you are feeling shy all right you are hesitant to speak this language so just you need to uh, just get rid out of all these issues all these problems that you are facing first all right and it's okay it happens initially we all feel shy we all feel nervous there is anxiety a level of anxiousness is there it happened with me too but if you want to achieve something we have to give it a try we have to put in our efforts you cannot expect the things to come to us like in a very simple and easy way nothing is going to come in front of us in in on in an already served platter right for that we need to work hard we need to accept this challenge of speaking a foreign language that is english so accept this challenge speak why are we learning english basically we are learning english spoken english specifically to to communicate with others to have a conversation with others right and conversation takes place only when the other person is understanding us right so if you are able to make the other person understand your points clearly your part is done you are doing great if the other person is understanding you if the other person is able to uh, get you what you are saying that's enough so this is what you actually you actually need to work on for that you can achieve fluency you can become a fluent english speaker only when you will practice is speaking every day and no matter what you are speaking all right just practice uh with you first all right do not just uh, go and start talking to others in english all right no i am not asking to do that practice with yourself first there are i have already shared a lot in my videos that how can you practice at home how can we practice speaking english all alone what are different ways you can check out those videos of mine these watching these videos are surely going to help you practice speaking english so there are multiple ways give it a try start practicing speaking english technique number 3 is practice learning expressions and phrases rather than learning word meaning yes focus on learning phrases and expressions as i just said what does it mean for instance you learned a word excited all right you were watching a movie or something and you heard someone speaking excited then do not just try to find out the meaning of this word only all right this is the word excited and this is the meaning and then you are trying to memorizing it do not do this if you are going to do this you will forget it for sure so what you need to do is try to learn the phrase 
do not just learn single word single individual word what phrase i'm talking about what do i mean by this is learn what did that person say exactly i am excited the whole phrase i am excited all right and then continue the rest of the sentence i am excited about the movie i am excited about my birthday i am excited about the upcoming festival like this learn the entire phrase rather than learning just an individual word all right by doing this you are not learning grammar all right and you are uh, learning three to four words at the same time rest what you are doing is you are just filling up the next blank for instance let me give you another very simple basic example you have heard someone saying how old are you all right now how old are you you have learned this now try to change some words for instance how old is she how old is he so you have learned how old all right and you understood that how old is used for asking someone's age now try to modify this sentence as per your convenience and try making many sentences using this expression or the phrases how old is your friend how old uh, are they how old are your friends how old is your mother so like this you just read or you just listen to or uh, just one sentence how old are you and by this you by using this you are making a number of sentences so this is what i'm asking you to do try learning phrases expressions rather than learning an individual words similarly if you listen to any uh, new word let's say you have heard someone speaking daunting task all right and now do not just uh, find the meaning of this word daunting task try to understand uh, the meaning of this word by uh, the context i mean try to understand in which context the word is actually used what was the situation where did i listen to this word what was happening why i was listening to this word what was the expression what was the situation and try to understand the meaning okay with the help of the context it happens most of the times uh, i mean in my case what happens let's say if i'm watching any telugu movie in telugu and i'm not able to understand all the things what is happening right but just if i am gonna uh, observe uh, the characters expression and their hand gestures and the scenario the situation what is going on then we can get some ideas that what are they talking about right and what can be the meaning of this word for that we need to be really focused first be attentive be focused while listening to your target language you can get this uh, by yourself only when you are serious about learning this language do not just take it very lightly if you are going to take it very lightly and uh, you are not serious about it then just forget about learning this language and you will just be there uh, indulging yourself learning grammar rules and then framing sentences you will just be puzzled nothing more than that so just listen to what i said try to uh, follow my guidelines what i'm telling you and then see the difference that yes it actually works so this is what i am telling you that learn phrases and expressions rather than learning an individual word next what you need to do is to not think about your mistakes while speaking english so uh you know what mistakes are part of learning mistakes making mistakes actually keeps you closer to towards something that you want to achieve i mean if you are not going to make if you think that i want to speak english without making any mistake then you are not going to speak at all because you are not taking a step further towards speaking you are afraid of making mistakes are you getting my point mistakes actually helps us growing so just and uh, you know what mistake only those people make mistakes who want to do something if you are if you really want to speak english you will be making mistakes so if you do not want to make mistakes at all while speaking 
it means you will not speak at all you are not going to speak english you are never going to be fluent in english if you will just think like this i do not want to make mistake i want to speak english perfectly all the time do not aim for perfection aim for communication for conversation aim for making your points clear to the other person in as i mean by using simple and easy words no problem with that just aim for a smooth conversation that's it do not worry about your mistakes so this is the next tip that I would that i would like to share with you that stop thinking about your mistakes stop uh paying a lot of attention on others reaction focus on your part focus on your speaking only and here is the next step in order to practice speaking english start using some resources that are based on conversation conversation based resources or apps start using those apps that are going to help you understanding the conversation that are going to help you speaking english do not use the apps that actually uh deal with teaching grammar rules all right do not attempt the grammar drills the grammar rules uh, just stay away from all these things if your focus is only speaking then all right so as i said that start using the resources that are based on conversation so there are some uh, not some there are a number of apps available on play store you can go for duolingo or uh, there is cambly as well and uh, there is hello talk as well these apps are going to help you to speak english and to make you a better at listening as well listening and understanding english language so start using these apps on the regular basis and that's it for today's video to sum up i would just like to tell you that you do not need to master any grammar rules for speaking english fluently you just need to immerse yourself surround yourself with english environment start learning phrases and expressions rather than learning an individual word speak english every day and start making mistakes while speaking english no problem do not be afraid of making mistakes and use the resources and the apps that are based on listening and speaking english so focus on all these things if you are going to focus on the tips and techniques that i shared with you in this video today then i'm sure i assure you that you do not need to learn any grammar rule and yes you can ace speaking english it is going to take time it is a continuous process it is not going to happen in just a th- in just 30 days all right it depends person to person and it depends on your consistency as well that how consistent you are speaking this language are you just focusing on watching listening right or you are trying to speak english as well so make sure that along with watching and listening the the other stuff and uh, using the uh, apps as well you are speaking english on the regular basis thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you found this video useful worth watching give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video next i'll catch you in the next video with another interesting topic till then bye bye take care